All right. Well, good afternoon, Hawks. We sure miss you around here at Hillcrest. It's just not the same with this distance learning thing going on. So we want to make sure that you didn't forget who we were while you were sitting at home. So it's me, Mr. Deese, and I'm here today with Mr. Pulley. And Mr. Pulley is going to answer seven questions for a hawk. Mr. Pulley, this is not one of those questions, but seven. But how are you doing right now, Mr. Pulley? You know, when all things considered, I'm wonderful. You know, the spring has sprung. The garden's looking good. The apple trees are looking good. Uh, lots of time to write music. I still get to listen to people practice. People are sending me videos. So all things considered, I'm healthy. I'm happy. Not the same, but it'll do. Beautiful. Beautiful, Nick. Okay, so we've got seven questions for a hawk right now. So let's go ahead and start off. Now, this is, of course, for you being an elective teacher, this is going to be a very weird question. But what yeah. is the best part of distance learning for you right now the best oh i, I know i look nick i look i'm sorry again i know <laughs> ask, asking a band teacher to the question is the wrong person to ask this question to uh you know i am and it's it is no substitution but the website i've been using smart music it's nice to use technology in the band classroom so i'm very much old school where in terms of i give you an instrument you read the book you play the instrument and and we're going analog you know <laughs> we're going full analog in my band classes usually so uh <laughs> to use a little bit more technology i guess is fine good there we go okay thank you what it, what has been your steepest learning curve during distance learning i mean what has been that thing where you've just been like how do i figure this out uh i think it's keeping people uh keeping people motivated and keeping people engaged because uh part of being in in a band is that camaraderie you develop with your classmates and especially the big groups at hillcrest i mean our smallest group is 42 that's the eighth grade band yep. is 42 kids so to have that group group camaraderie that's a that's a big part of it and so to practice at home it's for a lot of people nowhere near as satisfying so the motivation's hard and I get it. <laughs> um, so tell me, Nick, what are you doing for your own wellness during this shelter at home? What are you doing to keep Nick Pulley sane during all this? Uh, most of the same things I usually do. I cook a lot. Uh, I've been exercising a lot, which is relatively new. I've actually lost about 15 pounds. I, I was going to say, you're looking slimmer there, Nick. Is, uh, I, I sure. shaved the beard. I got, I got nice. a stupid mustache. I'm, I'm still... The verdict is still out on if I should keep it, but um, exercising. Um, I'm writing a lot of music. I know the the new Giants album is is done. It should be done in your hand in about a month, but I'm already halfway done with another record. Um, wow! And so I've been writing a lot. Um, and then the garden looks amazing. Um, I got peppers. I got tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, limes, lemons, artichokes, uh, hops. The hop vines looking great. So. Now are those, are those now are those spicy peppers or what are they? Are those are they kind of what are they? A, a little bit of everything. I got two bell bell pepper plants in with the tomatoes, and then I've got um, what do I got? I, I've got jalapenos, Fresnos, padrones, and uh, shishitos all going now, as well. Oh, nice, good job, Nick Pulley. I like that right there. Gonna roast some padrones and some shishitos. A little bit of flaky sea salt. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need anything more with shishitos right there. You don't need anything yeah. more. <laughs> hey, um, so tell me, Nick, if you could go back in time, what would your middle school self say about distance learning for the last two and a half months of school? What would seventh grade Nick Pulley think of distance learning? Oh, man. Um, I don't know because when I was in middle school, we barely had computers. Like, you know, we were just phasing out of like Oregon Trail when I was in middle school, <laughs> like the old green screen Max in middle school. So, man, it it, it sounds it sounds like a sci fi movie to me. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like the fact that you can have a device in your pocket that can do you know do everything. It can video stream. It can play video games. It can do your homework. Like mind-blowing so I, I guess be ready for the future there we go <laughs> um what are you looking forward to do doing day one when classes start again at hillcrest middle school i cannot wait to just play a g dang piece of music as a group like just having 50 people play a tune together and have that moment it's it's magical and so i think it'll be 
about a billion times more magical that we're because we're you know we're not used to it anymore so once once it happens it'll be wonderful awesome that i i i can't wait to hear the music coming from your room again that's no. sure right there um if you could be sheltered at home with any famous person living or dead who would it be and why any famous yeah, if you, person if you, yeah, if you had to be sheltered at home any famous or historical person who would that person be famous um historical you know if we're going famous people, because my, my first one was, I was thinking, you know, sheltering places with my wife would be nice, but that, you know, <laughs> I don't know if she's famous, but, you know, she's local famous. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go hockey. I'm going to go with uh, Brent Burns, San Jose Sharks. Nice. Because uh, uh, he he cooks a lot, he he hunts a lot, and he just seems like a really nice, nice dude. I know that uh, the Bowman family is friends with the Burns family, and they've told me that he's one of the nicest dudes they've ever met. So I think Burnsy would be fun to hang out with. There, that's a great. I somehow not surprised it's a hockey player coming from Nick. I said it's going to be a musician or a hockey player. It was going to be one yeah. of those two from Foley right there. It's either it's either Burnsy or Jumbo. Uh, <laughs> my 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 first reaction was Robin Williams, but I think he would drive me nuts after about a day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think there's no. I would think maybe half a day even. It would be great. The first hour though would be the best hour you had. Oh yeah, <laughs> in forever. Uh, uh -huh. Nick, what would be the one word you would describe to uh, you would describe what you have learned about your students during distance learning? What's that one word you've learned about your kids during distance learning? I have learned. Uh, oh man, one word. Well, you know what? Hey, you know what? You can feel free to break the rules, Nick. You know, you don't have to live by that. <laughs> you know, I I, th I think when it's all said and done, I think uh, compassion. I think. They are a compassionate bunch, and I know that in class sometimes I can be such a sarcastic hothead and spouting off jokes all day that sometimes the genuine compassion that we have for one another gets lost. But uh, I get I get at least two or three emails a day just checking in about assignments, and every single one says, you know, I hope you're well, miss you, can't wait to see you, something along those lines. And so it's been really nice to see the compassion of the of the hot community still in place that's great Nick. that's I, I i love to hear that i love to hear that you know so nick those were our seven questions right there but finally though do you have a message you want to send to your students watching at home oh man uh i, I have a lot of good things to say i think i'm going to save a lot of the good stuff for the eighth graders for the graduation okay because, uh that class is really special to me um that class was my first group of kindergartners when I started teaching in the Gravenstein Union School District. And so a good half of that class, maybe even more, I've known since they were five years old. And now they're wow. teenagers. Then you, I, I will expect great things from your graduation speech then, Nick Pulley. Great. Yeah. So I've, I've already got a draft in the works ready to go. Um, yeah. So uh, as much of a kick in the butt as all this has been, um, it's nice to be part of the community. And uh, just stay well and take care of yourself and uh, keep practicing. <laughs> there we go. Well, look, Nick, Mr. Pulley, we really appreciate you being on here today. You're the first the first person to do seven questions for a Hawk. Uh, oh, but again, you know what, again, but I mean, you're so important to our school community. You, you mean so much to this district. Thanks for everything you do. Thanks for being a part of this. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mr. Dietz here with seven questions for a Hawk. Check in later. We'll be having some more teachers coming up in the next few weeks. Don't forget about us, and remember, guys, soar, hawk, soar.